Uh, a dad has become the first Brit to get microchipped with a bank card implant, letting him pay with just his hand. I mean, this is incredible. This is Arnie. Uh, now, I'm not sure I can pronounce his name. Can you help me with that one? <laughs> anyway. um, I'm going to go Zoke. Zoke, uh, who is an NHS healthcare assistant, paid £350 to have the operation in Germany in which surgeons insert a safety pin sized chip inside his hand. Where is it? Does he point to it? I was wondering where you'd... I might put it in my finger. Welcome back. Uh, when was the last time you wrote an actual cheque or bought something with cash? Swiping and tapping our cards and our apps uh, are not just the easiest way to spend money, they're the safest way, unless, of course, we misplace our phones or our wallets, and then it's a nightmare. Uh, it is hard to misplace your hands, however. And soon your hand may be all that you need to buy anything that you can afford and many things that you can't. Because a company called Walletmore is developing a very teeny, teeny, tiny chip. You see it there in the x-ray? <laughs> that should creep you out. Um, the, the chip is like the ones that are found in smart credit cards or debit cards. Uh, and the chip gets embedded just under your skin and makes your whole hand a credit card. Joining me now is Wojtek Paroda. He's the CEO and founder of Walletmore. Okay, Wojtek, this is so uh, futuristic and out there, but walk me through how it actually works. Okay, so first of all, thanks for having me. Uh, it, let's look at the chip as, uh, at, as a super small part that you can use wherever contactless payments are accepted. So it's exactly the same NFC technology, which stands for near field communication. And therefore it can be used only for the near field communication payments. So therefore you cannot be tracked, you cannot be monitored, you cannot be spied with that implant because it's exactly the same technology as credit card. So here's my worry, um, is that you can accidentally buy something by just having your hand too close to a machine, or you could accidentally have your data all stolen uh, by, by shaking someone's hand, because a lot of times we protect our, our cards in, you know, in, in cases that can't be uh, penetrated, but if it's in your hand, it's really hard to do that. It's not that simple, to be honest. First of all, you cannot uh, lose money when you are shaking hands with anyone because the implant is the passive tag and it doesn't have any internal source of energy. And therefore, the only option to get the read of that implant is to put it in the near field of uh, terminal. So therefore, the other implant, which is inside of the, uh, the other person's hand, it's not capable of processing information. You need to have that source of energy and only terminals that you can see at the moment are capable of providing that energy. So that's one thing. The other thing is that you definitely cannot, cannot lose, your lose your money because of the fact that you tap in a random place. Why? Because the implant is so small compared to the credit card. Normally, of course, when you tap the credit card, the terminal, it gets the read instantly. With the implant, it's a little bit different because you need to be super precise. And therefore, if someone is touching your hand, finding this perfect sweet spot, because that's how we need to look at it, you would, uh, you would realize at least 10 times that something is going on with your hand. So that's do also- you, Do you uh, have it? Wojciech, do you have yeah. it in your hand right now? Yeah, of course. Uh, actually, the x-ray that you saw was from my hand and that's how that's it you. looks. Or, or my hand. So show me, show me your hand. Is it possible to see it at all? Uh, it's just barely, barely standing out, right? Like it's just, it looks like maybe a little like a scar. Yeah, I, as you can see, I'm popping it a little bit. Uh, oh man, that's crazy. Did you have a doctor insert it? Yeah, of course, that's part of the deal because uh, we are only building the implants. And when it comes to the installations, we want the whole experience to be as safe as possible. And therefore, we built a network of partners all across Europe and the US. So therefore, if you are ordering an implant from our site, it, it, it's of course shipped to you. But then uh, you need to schedule the appointment with one of the uh, specialists who will just set it up for you. So do you use it? Like, do you go up to a, a, a cashier and say, yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just tap my, my hand. And, and if that's the case, what, how's, what's the reaction from the, uh, the, the sales clerks? Yeah, of course, I've been testing it myself since the very beginning. I have been the first person to get it installed. And reactions are pretty wild, to be honest. Sometimes people just don't care, but uh, because th when they are stuck in the office for like, 10 hours, they just do not care. They just care about having the payment to be processed. But uh, sometimes the reactions are really extreme because 
when I tap my hand and there's clearly nothing hidden inside of the uh, loaf or any, anything else, anywhere else, uh, they are just asking how the hell is that possible? You need to have a watch somewhere down here uh, in, your, uh, in your shirt. But when I'm just taking it down and seeing uh, and showing that, okay, there's nothing out there, uh, then the conversation begins. But in most cases, it turns out to be uh, like a positive conversation because as long as I as explain how it works and what's actually inside, uh, they're pretty much optimistic about it. So there is an instant- Well, I'll tell you what, there's, there, there's still a lot of regulatory there. I mean, this is a long way before it's mass market appeal, but it is really interesting to see you, that you're on the leading edge of this and that you're doing it yourself as your lead uh, guinea pig. Uh, Wojciech Paprota, thanks so much for being on. I wanna stay with you on this story to see how you do with the business.